for those of you that don't know, <clears throat> you're looking at uh, T. Wayne Abshire. Uh, hold on, gotta edit that. I just talked to him. What's he doing? Um, <clears throat> for those of you that don't know, this is uh, T. Wayne Abshire, uh, T. Wayne's Cajun Cooking, and uh, without a doubt, one of the most phenomenal barbecue cooks in on the planet ever um, historically happens to be my agent uh, uh, meatball and associates um, he's not a very good agent he's a much better barbecue cook but uh, just trying to get a handle on because T Wayne has been kind of uh, absent for the last couple years uh, from the barbecue trail praise the Lord thank you Jesus <laughs> And uh, but we just want to kind of get an update on what's going on in T Wayne's world and uh, just general thoughts on things. So T Wayne, talk to us. Well, Jeff, we're uh, we're extremely busy with some new projects. You know, of course, uh, few people know I have a restaurant. A oh, very few people. <laughs> That's not true. No, we've uh, we've had we've had a lot of good success with the restaurant. Uh, catering is doing really well, uh, and that's in conjunction with the restaurant. A lot of a uh, lot of new prospective clients coming up, and uh, you know, sometime as an agent, uh, if you know the comment that you made. Uh, agents are supposed to protect their clients. Just because I'm not, you don't think I'm doing you a good job, don't necessarily mean I'm not protecting you. So, so sometimes I have your better interests, or most of the time I have your better interests in mind. Okay. Sure. So with that said, that's a, that's, a, that's a that's a weak explanation for not doing anything, but we'll I'm let not, you have it. If you, if you if that works for you, we'll let you have it. I'm not clouding you with all these things that you don't need to know, but I'm really working hard behind the scenes to get you that big, buddy. You know, and uh, you know, try to head off any kind of anything that's gonna really throw you off path. You know, I'm gonna keep you moving in forward direction not have to slow down for any obstacles just to get you to your goals so anybody interested in paying me percentage of their earnings to keep you out of this kind of trouble you pay Jeff and Jeff will pay me So with that said, talk to us about barbecue, man. What's been going on? Man, barbecue has has really, really taken a back seat to really, really what's important in my life. Come on. That's my family. My family is A number one. And if I can't feel like I'm not giving them enough time. I got the rest of my life to barbecue. I've only got a few more years with my kids, man. That's anybody that knows me knows that family is is, is number one. You know, so I apologize Shake for being here, <laughs> but uh, but I'm not gonna lay down when I do come to these contests. So. Real important there, people. Amen. Keep your priorities straight. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm I'm uh, I'm a full supporter of you not showing up at barbecue contests. <laughs> it's about the kids. <laughs> <laughs> Stay home with your family. You, Cajun Blaze. You know Barry needs to spend more time with his family. I definitely knew. Uh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You're right about those two. The, the, uh, look, barbecue will always be there, but those guys really need to pay attention. They don't want to lose their family on the case of barbecue. Yeah, you know? it's not worth it. Man. No. Yeah, barbecue got, is not stay home. Good. It'll always be there. Yeah. Of course, then the grandkids come along, and you got to make sure you take care of that, too. So. Well, yeah, that's... I ought to have a pretty good gap between the kids leaving. <laughs> <You're> I better. <laughs> I'm married. 
Yeah. You hear that? <laughs> no, I've got some great kids, man. They're, they're really involved in a lot of things. Mary loves softball. I mean, uh, volleyball. volleyball. And uh, Matthew's going to be an Olympic shooter. Matthew uh, loves shooting sports. He's uh, he's got his eye on the prize. You know. Uh, in 2020, the Olympics will be in Tokyo, Japan. He got his little pocket computer out, his phone, and said, Dad, that's, that's far. What you think? I was like, you shoot it, and we'll go. So anyway, he's, uh, he's got to go. Uh, Mary wants to play volleyball in college. So uh, she's doing all she can to focus on that one sport. She's also doing uh, shotgun shooting. And she's on the sports medicine team at school. So uh, so a lot of good things are happening for her. She just got a driver's license. Uh, a lot of things are not happening good for mom and dad. You know, you because to, she got her driver's license. That's right, that's right. Um, you know, but it's, it's, it's all part of that. I was told this by an old friend of mine that we've been friends for a very long time. The only thing you can give your kids is roots and wings and point them in the right direction. If you try to harness them, if you raise them right to be independent and everything, they'll fight you with that. So you've got to let them make their own decisions. It's the only way they can make mistakes and learn from those mistakes. So with that said, Mary, Mary don't have free reign to go where she wants to go, you know, uh, thank God for find my iPhone, we can keep up with her wherever she goes, <laughs> you know? uh, and look, it's, it's not about not trusting them and all that, it's, it's, it's a safety thing, it really is, so, uh, other than that, what are you going to do, what's your strategy today in barbecue? Strategy today barbecue, uh, we try, you know, sometimes you learn a lot from losing. You learn more from losing than winning. Then I should be brilliant. Jeff's coming on strong, real strong here lately. <laughs> he, uh, you know, a lot of loss, but, but, but it's a win, you know, because you learn something. You know, you can't, you can't learn something from winning. So uh, Jeff's coming on strong with the barbecue. Uh, <laughs> And if you can't have fun doing this, and if you're taking this too serious, take it from me. I'm 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 a, a competition junkie. Everything's a competition. Listen, I'm gonna tell you something. T Wayne, T Wayne took it upon himself, take me under his wing here to kind of get the hook completely set with me and barbecue, and then. All he does is lie to me from that point on, and I trust him, and I love him, and I do it, and I keep losing. So that's the that's the real issue. Look, hook, line, and sinker, that that old thing. You know, it's all about the fight. It's not about landing the fish. It's about the fight. Give them enough string to where they can throw that hook over their shoulder and take off running, and then tighten up the drag and make them jerk. I mean, it, it, they learn more doing that. You know, it's uh, I'm not a big fisherman, but. If, if, if I was a fisherman, I would teach a fish a lesson not to just get the easy bait. Don't take the easy route. You know? you, are you coaching fish now? Yeah. Yeah? I mean, you're I, helping them out. We're, so you're, so you're doing a, a locker room talk for fish? That's it. That's it. Don't take the easy Don't bait? Don't take the easy bait. Work for them. Yeah. Because the easy bait them. sometimes is the one that gets you hooked. That's the one that gets you hooked. That's just put you, the easy bait puts you in the frying pan. Hey. That's right. That's Cajun wisdom right there. Bert and Ernie would be proud of you. Bert and Ernie, man. I learned a lot from them guys. Just just, just reminiscing on their photo, you know, it just really, you, you learn a lot about a lot of stuff. How close relatives are they to, to you? Well, I don't want to get into the genealogy of the Absher and the Broussards, but, uh, you know, they, they were... Uh, They're not too far down the line, huh? They were... They were first cousins and brothers. I mean, they were. I mean, it's it's hard to, you know. You ever seen a tree when it grows back together? The branches just kind of go over one another, and then over 
one time they just kind of mend together. That's kind of Uncle Bert and Ernie. They, they, uh, you know, it's, it's, uh, we just try to put it nice. I mean, they, they, uh, have they, helped they, with, have they, they helped are you? full kin. I mean, they are full blooded kin. <laughs> put it that way. Yeah. So, but hey, hey, I mean, everybody's, everybody's got them in the family. You just gotta, just gotta do, uh, <laughs> Not everybody, T. Yeah, but <laughs> I know you'd like to think that, but not everybody has that in their family. Everybody's got it, they just won't admit it. Yeah. No. You don't have a family tree, it's a vine. <laughs> yeah, kind of like that little tree I'm looking out the window right now, looking at it. It's, uh, they're, they're close, they're real close. They're, you know, they fight a lot, but you know what? They drop their leaf like any other tree. You know, they produce fruit. Well, let's hope not, but <laughs> who wouldn't want to lay their seed on the ground, you know? But, yeah, that's Okay, what it. kind of sauce are you going to use today? Sauce? Uh, we, we're, uh, we're not going to get into all of that, you know? I'm, I'm a big fan of everybody developing their own flavor profile. I don't like to promote any kind of sauces, no. seasonings, rub, no. and all that. I say, um... I say trial and error is the best, the best way. Um, I like it. Yeah. So the ones you had me try, you're definitely not going to use them. You just had me try them, so they oh, yeah. throw me down that trail. But Jack's going to use something else. Well, you learn a lot from, like, like we were just talking about. You yeah, learn 80, a lot. 85 losses? Yeah. 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 So, That's all right. I appreciate you, man. Hey, we, uh, we're looking out for your best interests. Uh, you know, meatball and associates. Uh, we're, we're growing the leaps and bounds, we're picking up new people every day, um, and, and, and you know, it's not your typical agency, you know, we're, we're more of a defensive agency than an offensive agency, so uh, we, we try to keep you out of trouble, and that's, uh, you know, if I've got Jeff in this trailer right now, uh -huh. yeah. that keeps him from getting in trouble that's down it. the street. That's you know, exactly Jeff, right. So, Right. He has a tendency to get in trouble. Well, Jeff doesn't speak up for himself. That's the biggest thing. He, he uh, <laughs> you know, he, he lets a lot of people crap on his head, man. And just, I, I just, uh, I hate seeing that for him, and I can't be with him all the time because, I mean, you know, he, he has a tendency to wander off, you know. And, uh, but, uh, you know, we just, again, that's part of giving him the line, letting him go. And, I Every now and then, easy bait. you know, last weekend when I saw where he was, you know, <laughs> gave him a call, set the hook, you know, reeling him back, you know, see where he's at this week, you know, just, uh, just watch him. You learn, I can't lose today. You learn from losing, man. That's, that's, the, that's the whole point of today's message is you learn from losing. And so, and it's targeted to me. I would, I would encourage anybody with the fall season coming up today. Um, you know, this kind of marks the end of summer. You know, we got the jack draw in a couple of weeks. And all of this, I would encourage everybody to get ready for the fall season and lose today. Everybody. Yeah, you're going to learn so much, you're going to get ready for the whole fall season. So <laughs> let's, um, you know. Let's go out there and lose. Let's go out there and lose and, and, and see what you learn today. You'll be amazed how when you lose, you learn. Ladies and gentlemen, I apologize uh, for the message that you've had to endure. If you've listened to it to this point, you have been uh, you have been inundated and uh, and, and overwhelmed with uh, Bert and Ernie Cajun logic uh, via Meatball Associates, T. Wayne Abshire. And uh, really, if if it, if you listen to this entire video, um, well, we're going to pray for you because. Uh, I think people of rational minds would have turned it off at about minute two, but uh, they need to hear this. And it's for their own good. Well, I understand that. I understand you know, that was a whole strategy. And we're and we're we're uh, we're pleased to see you out here on the barbecue trail, T. Wayne, and we're also pleased to know that you have your priorities straight and you won't be back. Um, and we appreciate that. So so thank you, and uh, thank you for all you do for for barbecue. Thank you for all you do for. Uh, humanity um, and, and thank you for all you do uh, we appreciate it you're the man I'm here